Good morning, everyone. And welcome to Holy Rosary Church, Mary Mother of God Parish. As we gather to celebrate the sacred mysteries of our faith, honoring especially in this Mass, St. Lawrence of Brindisi. Say a word about him in the homily. We begin this Mass in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Thank you. Let us call to mind our own faults, failings, and sins, and ask God for most gracious and abundant mercy. We sent to the sorrowful in hearts, and so we ask, Lord, have mercy. Came to give hope to sinners in darkness, and so we ask, Christ, have mercy. And you prayed for eternal redemption before our Heavenly Father, and so we ask, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who for the glory of your name and the salvation of souls, bestow on the priest, St. Lawrence of Brindisi, a spirit of counsel and fortitude, grant, we pray, that in the same spirit we may know what we must be done, and through his intercession bring it to completion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. This word of the Lord came to me. Go, cry out this message for Jerusalem to hear. I remember the devotion of your youth, how you love me as a bride, following me in the desert in a land unsown. Sake to the Lord was Israel, the first fruits of his harvest. Should any presume to partake of them, evil would befall them, says the Lord. When I brought you into the garden land to eat its goodly fruits, you entered and defiled my land. You made my heritage loathsome. The priests asked not, where is the Lord? Those who dealt with the law knew me not. The shepherds rebelled against me. The prophets prophesied by Baal and went after useless idols. Be amazed at this, O heavens, and shudder with sheer horror, says the Lord. Two evils have my people done. They have forsaken me, the source of living waters. They have dug themselves cisterns, broken cisterns that hold no water. The word of the Lord. Today's responsorial psalm is, With you is the fountain of life, O Lord. With you is the fountain of life, O Lord. O Lord, your mercy reaches to heaven, your faithfulness to the clouds. Your justice is like the mountains of God, your judgments like the mighty deep. With you is the fountain of life, O Lord. How precious is your mercy, O God! The children of men take refuge in the shadow of your wings. They have their fill of the prime gifts of your house. From your delightful stream you give them to drink. With you is the fountain of life, O Lord. For with you is the fountain of life, and in your light we see light. Keep up your mercy toward your friends your just defense of the upright of the heart. With you is the foundation of life, O Lord.
Uh, say, you, Father, of heaven and earth, you have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The disciples approached Jesus and said, Why do you speak to the crowds in parables? He said to them in reply, because knowledge of the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven have been granted to you, but to them it has not been granted. To anyone who has more, more will be given and grow rich. From anyone who has not, in what he has, the little will be taken away. This is why I speak to them in parables, because they look but do not see, they hear but do not listen or understand. Isaiah's prophecy is fulfilled in them, which says, you shall indeed hear, but not understand. You shall indeed look, but never see. Gross is the heart of this people. They will hardly hear with their ears, but they have closed their eyes, unless they hear with their, they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their hearts to be converted, and I heal them. But blessed are your eyes, because they see, and your ears, because they hear. Amen, I say to you, many prophets and righteous people long to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. The Gospel of the Lord. Two little words first on our saint of today, Saint Lawrence of Brindisi. <clears throat> who was born with the name Cesare di Rossi. And at the age of 18, he joined the Capuchin Franciscan Friars. And he was very intelligent, spoke several languages, became a Bible expert, a scriptural expert. And he rose to the ranks of the Franciscans and eventually became Minister General of the Capuchin Order, Franciscan Order. And uh, on the second turn, where they voted him to be Minister General again, he refused. He said, I want to go back to my first love, and that is preaching. And so he remained a preacher for the rest of his life. So he was canonized uh, in the 1800s, and in 1959, he was elevated to be a doctor of the church. And so today we, we honor him. He's one of those that Jesus spoke. The mysteries of the kingdom of God were certainly revealed to him, to St. Lawrence, because he spoke eloquently of the things of God. And his preaching took root in the hearts of those who listened to him. And they were converted to be better Christians, better Catholics. And so when we come to the gospel today, why, does, why do you speak to the people in parables? And Jesus goes back to uh, the prophet Isaiah when the people just closed their eyes, they closed their ears, and they closed their minds, and they closed their hearts to what God had to say to them. They rather serve false gods, and then listen to the God who saved them time and time and time again. And so Jesus says, we have among us those who do not have faith. If you have faith and you develop that faith through, uh, you know, cooperation with the Holy Spirit in your life, that that faith will grow and you'll become more rich in the things of God. But if you take that faith and don't do anything with it, you just let it slowly die within you, it's just gonna die and dissipate. The little will be taken away. So he's talking about faith, not talking about you know, monetary riches or, 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 or human wealth. He's talking about faith. And you have to have faith to understand what God is telling you and me. And hopefully we have, we all here have great faith in God. And when he speaks to us in the scriptures, 
and he communicates with us in the Eucharist, we understand, we know what's happening. We know that we are being brought closer and closer to the Lord and closer and closer to our final destiny of salvation. May I invite you to stand now to get a little soft for our prayers and petitions of the Lord, knowing that he hears and answers all of our prayers. Today's response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For all church leaders, that they may be always attentive to the promptings of the Holy Spirit, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to terrorism in the world and for peaceful resolution to all conflicts between nations. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who asked us to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Marie O'Malley, for whom this Mass is being offered. May they be at peace with God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother and ask for her general intercession in our many needs as well. Hail Mary. Full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins, now and at the hour of our death. water and wine, where we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed you, Lord God of all creation, to the we have this bread to offer, the church is given in human hands I made, it will become for us the bread of life. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, to the we have this wine to offer, for the divine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. And God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. And Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. I invite you to stand and pray that your sacrifice and mine with deep faith will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Praise and glory of his name, our good and good of all. May the sacrifice which we gladly present on this priest of St. Lawrence of Brindisi be pleasing to you, O God, for taught by him we too give ourselves entirely to you in praise and faith through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Truly right and just are duty in our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are praised in the company of St. Lawrence and all of your saints and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. And by their intercession, sure support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we too may run the victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so, with all of the angels and archangels, and with all of the great multitude of saints, we too sing the hymn of your praise as without end we all acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. We call therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the do fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, handed it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring us to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them, Lord, into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, St. Joseph, her devoted spouse, with St. Lawrence of Berendisi, with St. Anne, St. Joachim, and all of the blessed apostles, martyrs, and saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs of eternal life. We praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With the deep faith that enriches us in the kingdom of God, let us pray as Jesus himself has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, protect us from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave and my peace I give you, but not in our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us share with one another the richness of the peace of Christ. Lamb of God, Take away the sins of the world. Behold, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. 
under my roof. But only say the word, and I shall be healed. Proclaim Christ crucified, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. Let us pray. Refreshed by heavenly food, we humbly implore you, O Lord, that attentive to the teaching of St. Bernardine Brindisi, that we may abide at all times in thanksgiving for the gifts that we have received. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We'll now have the Novena prayers 
in honor of St. Anne. 